right, boys and girls, let's go ahead and grab our wide tooth comb and start unleashing the fro. As you can see, that is a fro. Lay down. This is real. As you can see, though, his crown area is a little light. So keep that in mind as you are studying your client's hair, as you are studying their scalp, because this lets you know, hmm, possibly he might have low density. Now, he asked for one and a half. I chose to start with a two for two reasons. First of all, he wanted a higher guard around the crown. Like I said, it looks light already off the rip. So typically when you go with the grain and you're dealing with a client that has low density, the crown area is usually the area that looks the lightest. So let's go ahead and play it safe, make it go with a higher guard than what the client asked, not only for our personal safety, but theirs. All right. And you never know what's in the front. So when, when it comes to uh, dealing with clients that have low density, go ahead and add less pressure when you get to the crown area, just in case they have a cowlick or anything. Uh, in his case, he didn't, but you never know. So go ahead and add less pressure when you get closer to the hairline in the front. Just come off. Don't go straight down because you never know. All right, guys. So this is a number two. As you can see, it's not quite what he wants. He wants a number one and a half. He wants to make sure that the crown stays thicker because his hair is a little thinner around there. He's dipping though. He's dipping. All right, guys, let's grab our lucky comb, our lucky pink comb, and use the fine teeth just to kind of fluff it up a little bit more before we grab the one and a half fabulous guard and, and bring it down to the desired length that our client wanted here. Uh, but while I have you here, I also want to mention that I am going to have to buy a different comb soon enough, boys and girls. I've been a bit of a penny pincher, and uh, I had the chance to buy a metal comb for my local waivers. Um, I don't know if you guys caught the video where I was with my son in the beauty store and I did see a package deal for metal combs um, but it was like closer to 30 bucks and I did not I repeat I did not want to buy that at that time do I want to buy it now no but I know I have to because I want to look out for my clients and you should too just keep that in mind sometimes you got to go the extra mile for your clients to make sure that you have the proper tools to give them a better product Check this out. We're using a number two guard to start it off high and fade down. Now I'm fading down into a high taper. The reason I chose to go with a high taper is because he has low density. I don't know if we noticed earlier because I was talking about something else, but he's very, very, very light in his corners. Now for me, a high taper takes away from how somebody is going bald in certain areas. He doesn't have a horrible case of baldness. It's not even baldness, it's just low density. But again, you wanna take away from it and I already have a plan of, of enhancing that area, which we will get in a little bit, guys. But the biggest thing is finding a way to make your client look better, right? That's our job as barbers making them look better, enhancing their look. Now, for waivers, I must say, high tapers, they're not all fond of them. I think I had to talk him into it. Now on the back taper, we're gonna go ahead and preserve more of the wave pattern than we did on the sides. You know, sometimes you gotta go ahead and make a sacrifice waivers. And you know, if you're going light on your corners, like our lone waiver over here, you're gonna have to make a decision. And that decision is gonna have to be, hey guys, and by guys, I mean the pattern, I'm gonna have to let a few of you go. Some of you have to uh, be gone for now because I can't, I can't keep all of y'all. Some of y'all gotta go. I gotta look good. I work hard for this pattern. So let me let some of you go to live my life, 
okay so we're going with a pretty low taper on the back it's not the lowest but it's still not the highest we can go higher than this but we're not going to go higher than that we're going to keep it in the middle mid, like a mid low tape all right and you know right here you're gonna have to always remember to use your trimmers don't forget there's gonna be times you're gonna see that line still because i stamp i stamp when i create my bald guidelines i stamp because i like a precise bald guideline some of you have a different way of doing it and that's fine look there's not just one way of doing this there's multiple ways of doing this and right now this is my type of way of doing it all right and after you're done doing that we're, we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of detail as we use our number one guard we're gonna go ahead and go with the grain around the area that you're gonna go ahead and edge up now listen guys before we we played this part right here. I want you to know that a lot of you are going to be mad at me. I was slightly mad at myself, but not too mad. See, I feel that when it comes to the front edge line of waivers, you're supposed to bring it down some. And the reason you're supposed to bring it down some is because you don't want to over curl on the edge line because after you're done edging it up and, the, and by the time the waver goes back home and brushes his or her hair, um, the edge line is not going to be the same. That's just a fact, especially if they have it a certain way and by certain way, I mean a certain length. So why not cut it down to a certain length, edge it up, have it nice and tight so that edge line is preserved for a longer period of time, right? So that's the disclaimer because it gets kind of interesting from this point on just letting you know if you don't want to see this go ahead and flip to the next uh video but if you're willing to get through this pain with me let's do it together now when it's all said and done boys and girls you want to go the extra mile for your waiver you want to go and, and and try new things when you get the chance see he came at the right time. I didn't have to do another haircut after him. So I went ahead and grabbed some setting lotion and chose to go the extra mile because I wanna know what other types of services I can provide for my local waivers or my out of town waivers because all of you are welcome to come and get a haircut by me, by the way. And why not? You know, if, if you can learn new ways, if you can find a new way to provide a better service for your clients and that service could bring your prices up, why not? Just grab your Nairobi. Nairobi is not the only product you can grab, by the way. There's plenty of setting lotions out there. Just go ahead and go to your local beauty store and grab whatever setting lotion they provide and get to work. All right. We're going to go ahead and grab our do-rag. And after you grab that do-rag, make sure before you grab that do-rag, that do-rag is the correct do-rag. You don't want any Walmart do-rag. You don't want any Target do-rag. You want the do-rag. That's not going to leave that line on that forehead. Look, our lone waiver has has endured enough pain. Let's not let's not remind him of the pain he already endures. Let's give him a better way. Let's give him a better solution. Let's give him a way to enjoy his waves, not be be punished by them. OK, and after you're done doing that, after you're done tying it correctly, pull in the tail and make sure it's pressed in. Grab your blow dryer if you don't have a hooded dryer now. I wished I had a hooded dryer because when you use a blow dryer, it's time consuming and it's a bit of a workout. So let's uh, find a better solution, boys and girls. Invest in a hooded dryer. I know I did. It just ended up breaking. I ended up getting it from Amazon. Never, ever get a hooded dryer from Amazon. Don't do it. Don't waste your time. I had it for like three weeks and it broke. And to send it back to Amazon ended up being more expensive than what it cost me in the first place. All right, guys, this is an update on that hooded dryer. It's been, what do you think, Nick? Like two weeks? Two, two and a half weeks, three weeks? Yeah. Yeah. Two and a half weeks, three weeks since we got it, and it already broke. thinking Fonz, he's a little light in the corners you should have left it a little bit darker i understand that 
but I wanted to go for a high taper and help the brother out. He was already liked there. Remember where he was. Now, I'm not gonna leave him like this. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the area out with some aftershave. Get that layer of product that came from the Nairobi and the hairspray out, and we're gonna go ahead and hit him with some enhancement. I know there's some enhancement haters out there and you could think whatever you wanna think, but enhancements do work, they do help out. And we're not, we're not covering up uh, any imperfections. This is what he was dealing with. He is dealing with less density and I'm gonna go ahead and help him out with that so we can enhance his look. We're enhancing the handlebars more than anything. The edge line is already crispy, but let's keep it real. He wanted a one and a half, guys. And that one and a half, gets you pretty low. And when you have low density, I mean, you're gonna deal with this. Let's keep it real. So I had to do this. I had to. There was no way you were gonna leave my chair with, well, okay, well, I mean, if you say no, no means no, but he was okay with it. So I went ahead and grabbed the beam team machine with the Shun Cuts hair enhancement card and went to town on him. All right, now the enhancement that I'm using is the 245 no drip. This is the brown black no drip. I wish that I had the onyx, which is the like the dark black, because with the brown black, due to the fact that he has dark hair, you see a bit of a difference at the end, but I did cover some of it with some fibers, but even the fibers, I still feel like the fibers weren't the best option, the right tone. Now the brown black, it's a pretty good tone. I wish that I had the onyx. The onyx would have been crazy on this haircut. But if you don't have it, the brown black will be enough. Just know, this is why you wanna have the right tools, the right products. Because if you don't, you're gonna have moments of regret like your boy, you don't want that. All right, and another way to not regret things is by hitting the like button because you don't want to regret that. There's enough regret in this video. You do not want to regret not liking this video. So make sure you like this video while you're there. I'm just saying. boys and girls we're almost done but before we're done always remember to do a little bit of detail before you let your clients go step back a little bit use your cell phone something look at the mirror as many times as you can before you let them go use an extra five minutes and find out if there's any more that you can do for your client before you let them out of your chair you got to use some new tools once in a while it makes it more fun i'm just saying but at the end we have to remember where where this long waiver used to be you think that you could have done better let me know on the comments below what other things you would have provided to this waiver would you have done a lower taper would you have not done a ball taper at all would you have well i'm not gonna ask you if you would have done enhancements because there's plenty of you would have said hell no but guess what i like enhancements do i use them on all my clients no but i had to use it on him so guys anyways i gotta go to work it's 6 32 i got a seven o'clock i gotta i gotta bounce <laughs>